Welcome! In this video, I'll be teaching you a simple but effective way to alter a person's facial features. Through a lot of research and watching tons of videos demonstrating different techniques, most of them were teaching you how to perfect or fix the face to look like celebrities. However, I'm going to show you these techniques to do the exact opposite. Step 1, once you've opened your desired image, you'll need to make a duplicate layer. With this little icon down here, you have to drag your initial image over top of that and then let go of your mouse. Once you do, you have your new layer. Step 2, you have to choose one of the lasso tools. It doesn't really matter which one of the three, but my personal choice is the basic one. You just have to zoom in here to choose what you want to alter. I chose my brother's nose. So you just choose the lasso tool and you draw around the desired area like so. And it's also a good idea to kind of leave more room around the area because when you're blending it, it helps if you have more overlap. Once that is completed, you're going to want to make a new layer using Control or Command J. You'll make a layer just of the nose here. And that depends on whether you're using a Mac or Windows, Control or Command. Step 3. Once you have made your new layer, you will want to apply the mask feature to it, which is just this little icon down here, the square in a circle. If you click on it, this will happen and that's your mask, which pretty much means it's transparent, and I will cover this later in the video, but first we need to make the transformation to the nose. Step number four. After the mask has been applied to the layer, you want to go into free transform. That is along the top Photoshop menu, you select Edit, and then you select Free Transform, and it'll pop up a little box like this. And you can use this top menu here. It says Height, Width, and all these dimensions. You could change that around to alter the way it looks. I'll just show you the height here at 125%. So it makes it a little bit longer, but personally I find that it's pretty limited. I like to use this tool over here called Warp Mode, and it'll open up a grid pattern here. So you can move each individual square, and I find it gives you a better method of customization. So as you move each square around, you can see that it slightly moves it around, but doesn't really distort the image. Once you have achieved what you desire, you select the Move tool and then Apply Changes to accept the transformation. Step number five. This is where if you have a drawing tablet, it will be much more beneficial than using your mouse or touchpad on your laptop. What you're going to want to do is select the Brush tool right here. And then just make sure that your primary color is black. And depending on your image size, you could change your brush size to what you desire. And you could also play around with the opacity levels. I usually like to start with a low percentage and gradually work away. That way it's harder to make a mistake and you can slowly progress. And once you feel the need to increase the opacity, you can move it to around 20 to 30 percent, that's a good next step. And just gradually work your way. And there you have it. Once you zoom out, it looks pretty realistic. And I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for your time.